Okay, let's continue with the story. So at this point in time where distro builds or ISO builds, whatever you want to call yourself, and we have here the prime XFCE, the setting, the look of XFCE, that's the one you're looking at. So this is what we like to achieve at, a, at some point in time. So that's just the config XFCE, that's all. And you can watch the video there. I've moved this, I think, inside a folder called package build because probably we'll have more than one package build and we'll need more things. If we build a package, which we can do now, we've, uh, if you watched the previous video, you can do make package and then you get a package. I'd like to, well, we don't keep these things around. This one is what we need. This needs to go on the repo somewhere. It's fine on my computer, I can install it. If it does not conflict, that's Pacman's rules. But it needs to go on a repository online. And we have something up here. So repositories, let's see. We have prime XFCE and the teaching. So we've made a, a basically a fork from these guys. This is for the website so that the link always stays the same. And we have put already the configurations online. How about creating something for the repo, the future, right? Sharing, Pacman needs to read packages. How do we get that going? So github.com, let's go to Eric Dubois. I just clean up everything. Uh, well, everything not, but my repo so that we can have a look. So 13 minutes ago, I cleaned everything up. And this is how we put everything online on this repository. That's my personal uh, repository. So we can learn from this and I will always keep this one clean, right? So you can keep checking to the setup and the up thing. And we need to have Nemesis repo, prime repo, a name, but always use the same name. Otherwise you'll get confused not repo prime and the other time prime repo choose which is gonna be let's keep following the thing that repo is at the end and then prime in the beginning prime repo cool it's for free create a new one prime repo so alphabetically p r prime is first that's how we're gonna remember it prime and then repo. Oh, also important, a minus or an underscore, not the same thing. Almost gone wrong there. Prime repo, make it public. Go to settings, go to pages, and we need to go and deploy something. But at this point in time, there is no branch. So we need to wait a little bit. We need to push something online. Okay. Let's first git clone it. So this thing, we can grab it here or up here. Anyway, we need to put it on the desktop. Let's put it on the desktop. Git clone, control shift V. That's that. You appear to have cloned something empty that's true he's so right so in here there is nothing except my very important file that says there it is okay now i have everything set up in my manner ssh and gpg and now i want this to be going in here but if you look at the website of nemesis here you see i put everything in a folder there's a reason for that x8664 so i make a folder x86 underscore 64 enter and this thing goes in here voila all the packages you built no 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 yes yeah, true it's okay all the packages you built you put them in there What did I do? <laughs> like so. 
<laughs> okay. So we've got something to put online. Where are the scripts to put things online? Well, we have here the Eric. Oh, I was actually there. Primex FCE. We have two files, three files. These three will always come with me for every single thing. They will accompany me. But this is a repo. This is something different. We need to push this online, which is OK. Pushing online is fine, except we need to do something more here. We have here something. Well, we need a database for Pacman. Pacman is going to look for this particular well bit of URL, this anyway, and then X and then a database behind it. So what I'm missing is something you can just grab online. Either you just git clone it or you go for the actual code like this and say, oh, there's a little bit in there. Create, creating the databases is something new. That's not in our code. So git pull probably as well should go out as well here. There's nothing to pull, it's my repo. So go in here, grab the code, and there is no update repo.sh. There is no update repo.sh. So either, like I said, you could clone it, or you're gonna grab the code, this one. You can download it like this, or grab the code, it's up to you. So download, let's do that. Click, it's here, control X, and then you put it in here, control V. Now, if you see shell, sh is shell, and then of course you realize, mm, I should probably schmot this thing, so it's executable, that's that. Now it's executable. Now this comes from, yeah from us. So remove Nemesis repo. We've told him it's going to be prime repo, not Nemesis repo. So prime repo. And here as well, we're going to take prime repo. Notice the fact that minus S is missing and that's signing. We're not signing in this project. We're not doing that. Okay. Safe. Explained on ALCI. No, on Carly. That's that. Prime repo, prime repo, prime repo. Looks good. So if I run this, it's going to go inside x86. It's going to update the repo. Update the repo means I'm going to remove everything first, clean up, and then create a new database. Okay, and then everything will be fine. Let's see, and then the rest is putting everything online, putting everything online. Okay, I did not save this, important. And then up we go. And then update. And then he wants to know my name, right? So either you have set everything up as, well, login and etc., which is not recommended if I remember correctly by GitHub at some point in time years ago, we got a mail and said SSH and go via other ways, but not with passwords like this. So that's why we've made the videos and five videos, four, three videos ago, number four, we've done a setup. So before you push, you do a setup and then you go for up. And that's the only one time you have to type in setup. So if you see the password thingy, that's not okay. That can't be true. We work with SSH. Done. It's online. Let's have a look. Prime repo is here. Now I can tell GitHub, GitHub, 
make it a page. Deploy from a branch, correct. None, not correct. Main, safe. That's it. And now we have to wait. So prime repo, we have some work anyway. So he's gonna show something down here at some point in time. He's gonna build the page for you and we'll have a link. But I guess it's not showing up right now. Doesn't matter because we need to test this. Is Pacman, um, is it possible for Pacman to get to the repo that we just created? We need to dive into Pacman. Pacman is in N Pacman for me. I always go like this. It's here for a reason. And we go and have a look, right? So here we have stuff that's in here and we can change it if we want to. But this time I need to copy paste things. And let's make life easy. We are on Arch Linux. We have Arch Linux tweet tool. Our life couldn't be simpler. We go to Pacman. I activate the enable Nemesis repo. I say bye and quit. What happens? The code changed. Pacman.conf has changed and we've added the Nemesis repo at the bottom. Control C. Control V. In my case, it's not called Nemesis. It's called Prime. And now we go for SIG level and we go for server. It's not gonna be Eric GitHub.eu. It's gonna be Teaching Arco, I think we called it. Teaching Arco. Save. And then we have to wait, I think. So this is what we have. Then we're going to go for a control call T like that. I can put here and then it's updating. Oh, he's quick. Prime repo. There is no error. Sometimes you get a 404 and that means that you're just too fast. So let's have a look. I've been, since I know what's gonna happen, right? I know what the URL is gonna be, visit site. This is the URL. And basically this little bit in front is gonna become prime or and any, any name, right? Your name when you're logging and then github.eu and then the prime repo. Don't try, maybe good for in the video, don't try to do this. That will never work. So x8664 is basically what this is. That's not going to work. It is working for Pacman and that's all that matters. I can do pseudo Pacman minus s what was the package name? <laughs> what do we call the package name? Prime XFC, right? Whoa, a lot of bros. Prime. Here he is. Prime XFC kit. It's available and it will clash and it's not important for that. That's not the point. And if you have that, you read about conflict. That's the line in the package build you need to figure out. But this is for me super, right? We've got everything we need. The repo is functional. And for instance, to round it off, um, don't think the video is that long yet. What we can do is put the package build online as well. So Chrome, packages, teaching Arco. And then we go for repositories. Prime repo, new, prime package dot. Create repo. What did I do? Oh, I'm in description. Okay, create repository. Grab it, put it here. Wow, a nice wallpaper. And git, boom, control V, boom. Enter, no, backward search, <laughs> enter. 
So again, yeah, that's the package build. Gonna put it in here. Package build. Or we're just gonna put it like this. Do we need to put it in a folder? Up to you, eh? You decide, all of them next to each other. And then, repeat So this is the repo, so that's a bit, it's a bit different because it needs to create a database. Again, I did it again. Um, <laughs> so, where is my thing? This guy, out of here. Um, what was I going to say? That we need to grab this code again. Control C, we go to the package build, which is this one. It has not these three files, three. I always forget to remember the readme, so go change the readme. And then we have the package built in here. That's okay. We need to run it once, the setup. Run it once in the beginning and then we up it to the internet first commit and you'll find the package build I've created on that particular github voila they're all here and the more you do it the faster you'll get uh, you'll be and it's as simple as that it's always practice Repetition is a good thing. Um, I guess we can stop the video here. And I'll think about if we need to address something else. <laughs>